this idea of being impatiently patient as opposed to being patiently impatient. And we kind of talked about that. Someone who is patiently impatient is basically Oh, someone... that's what the PI yeah, and PI, I... That's IP. what that was. Yes. I was like, I literally don't know what that is. I'll have to yeah. ask him. Gotcha. Yeah, but I think you, when we were talking about it... Because the title totally is... It. What is it? Don't be IP? Yeah, don't, be an IP. Don't be, be, an be IP. a PI. Don't be a PI. Right? Gotcha. So don't be a PI. What that would basically mean is if, if you're the kind of person who's going to say, I'm going to start this thing and I'm going to start it in a week, a month, whatever it is, you're being patient about what it is that you want, what it is you desire. There's a book by Seneca. It's called On the Shortness of Life. And in this book, this Roman philosopher, he basically says, hey, the way most people live is they are mortal in all that they fear and they're immortal in all that they desire. So when it comes to people's fears, they just, I'm going to die. You know, they, they, it's going to kill me. It's going to be terrible. And they freeze. Analysis, paralysis, they waste their life. And then with the things they actually desire, they think they're going to live forever. I got a, all this time. I got an abundant amount of time to do what it is I want to do all the time in the world. No one's guaranteeing me all the time in the world. So if I, if I switch it, if I understand that maybe the most effective tool for my life is being immortal in all that I fear, fear originates in the mind, and then being mortal in all that I desire. If I'm mortal in all that I desire, I know that I have a finite amount of time. If I'm immortal in all that I fear, I'm gonna break through the things mm. that are invisible shackles to my life. So being patiently impatient basically means that you're waiting a little too long to get started. And then when you do get started, you quit really fast. You're impatient about the process. We talked about going to the gym. Another principle, another example we could use is dating. A lot of people want to you know, strike up better relationships or, or find their soulmate, whatever it is. And, you know, they, they say, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out and meet some people. I'm going to actually find friends or find someone to date or whatever. And they... They go to a couple places and they try a couple times. They were very, very patient to start and they were impatient in the process. Didn't work out after a couple days, got turned down one or two times. This is stupid. I'm going to quit. Impatient. It's a process. All the cliches we talked about, they're all applicable. It's a process. Sticking with it. People, money is another great thing. Another great example. I might say I want to save more money. And then I end up putting aside a certain amount of money every week or every month. And then at the end of the month, I say, damn, I put aside way too much money. I can't live off of what I left myself. It's not going to work. Well, you're being impatient, maybe changing the plan up. So being a patiently impatient person, ineffective, if it doesn't line up with your goals. Inverting it, being impatiently patient says, hey, you want to start? You want to get in better shape? You want to save some money? You want to find better relationships? You want to find your purpose? Guess what? That starts today. Don't fucking come around me with tomorrow. Don't talk about next week. It starts today. And then when you start, you're patient in the process. It's the difference between being someone who is a slot machine mentality kind of person and a sculptor. A sculptor, he's got his block of marble and he's very, hey, every day, just, just takes the hammer and the chisel. Just He's very patient about the process. Impatient to start. Patient about the I'm just gonna just take a little piece by piece. I'm not gonna take a fucking sledgehammer and just go to town on my damn block of marble. It's not effective. That's being impatient. So being more IP than PI. That's basically mm. the whole process. Great. So those are the the six core principles for your when you, leading yourself segment. Leading yourself. Yeah. 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 That's. I mean, I like to keep things simple. I'm I'm from the military. I'm down. So I have to like, I like steps. You know, if you can army proof it, air force proof it, just give me the five, just, hey, never mind the delivery story. Show me, just show me the baby. Okay, mm -hmm. that's all I wanna see. Just you give me the six steps and I'll follow that and good to go. Just keep it simple. I like to keep it simple for myself and I like to keep it simple for other people. Mm -hmm. Because like we talked about, we are bombarded with so many things every day. If we just narrow things, if we could simplify things, sometimes simplicity is the most beautiful thing. Just simplify it. Follow some basic principles, some basic concepts, and it'll get me just a little bit closer to what it is I want. Then I might find a new principle, new concept, new mentor, new opportunity. Chase that thing. It's just life of ratcheting up. That's all it is. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching the episode. If you're interested in contributing to the conversation and supporting the show, there's two easy things you can do. One, click subscribe. And two, visit our Patreon page where you get exclusive access to the Exploring Minds community.